Hey everyone, how much are you paying for your investments? So you heard me talking about these vampire funds, these like money sucking mutual funds and how they really eat into your returns. But now I want you to calculate how much it is um, that you're paying for your funds. So I created this spreadsheet. It's free to download in my resource library. So just click the link in my bio and you can get access there. So what it is, um, that I want to mention in addition to just like the straight, um, you know, comparison in the fees that you're paying, like, oh, maybe you're, you were paying 2% on your mutual funds and now you, um, you put yourself into ETFs that are now like a fraction of the cost, like 0.2%, so 10% of the cost. It's actually, um, the difference over time is much more significant because there's something called a drag. It's the drag in returns. But I guess in more simple terms, um, consider it the opportunity cost. So if you compare a portfolio over time um, that's invested in a mutual fund that's paying like 2.3% or 2%, okay, and then you compare it to the portfolio that's invested in an ETF, in ETFs that's maybe costing 0.2% per year, there is a substantial difference and it's just not um, based on the difference in mutual funds directly. Now I'll show you in my spreadsheet that I created what exactly it is I'm talking about, um, but it's that opportunity cost, the drag, um, makes a huge difference. So instead of using that money to pay for the fees, you're now taking that money that would have been used towards paying those fees, you're investing that as well. And that money is going to compound. So it's a significant, significant difference over time. Um, so go ahead, download this spreadsheet in my free resource library. And I want you to calculate how much it is that you are paying um, for your investments. So in this spreadsheet um, on calculating what your investments are costing you, okay, it's very easy to use, just a few boxes for you to enter. Um, anytime you see th these little pink boxes, that means you can change, um, you can put numbers in, you can put values in them. So let's start off with a current portfolio value. So what is the value of all your investments right now? So let's just say, I don't know, it's 100 grand. Okay, and you're paying say 2%. So the annual cost of your mutual fund now um, is roughly $2,000 and that's 2% per year. So that's how much you're gonna be paying um, every year if you know the value of your portfolio st sticks around to you know 100 grand, right? And of course, when this goes up, you know 150, um, your cost will go up as well. So put in the value of your portfolio um, and then the MER that you're paying. And then you can also project the future cost. So if you're putting in, you know, 750 bucks a month towards your investments, you can put that in here. And then put in an assumed rate of return on your investment. So, you know, I always say, remember, like, the historical returns on the stock markets in North America, eight to 10% per year over its entire history. Okay, so put in something very more conservative, conservative like 6%, just in case you are, um, you know, you have a little bit more of a balanced portfolio, you have some bond um, funds in there that will cushion, that will kind of, that will reduce your returns a bit, but it reduces the overall volatility of your portfolio. So 6% is a, is a conservative return. And then um, let's just say your new portfolio has a 0.3% um, MER now. So assuming you made the move from high cost mutual funds to an ETF portfolio, um, that's now 0.3%. Okay, so I just want to show you the difference in, you know, the current portfolio and a new portfolio that is a fraction of the cost. So with the current portfolio, over time, you know, if you're putting in 750 bucks a month, you're starting 
you're starting with 100, you have 150 grand right now. Um, in five years, this is, you know, the value of your portfolio. Um, and then over 30 years, there's your million dollar portfolio. And this is the total MER, the fees that you would have paid after 30 years. So that's um, 300 grand right there. And that, but with the new portfolio, if you decided to, hey, to, you know, go move your high cost funds into now like a lower cost um, ETF um, portfolio, well, the value of that, and again, assuming the same rate of return, assuming, you know, these um, same numbers. 750 bucks a month towards your investments, assuming 6% of return, but you're paying 0.3% now. And here's that difference, okay? In 30 years, it, instead of just being a million dollar portfolio, it's $1.5 million. And the total MER paid is about 60 grand, okay? Versus $300,000. Now, like I said before, it's not just a straight, you know, difference in MERs um, and MER paid, right? Because the difference with between this and this is about, I don't know, like $240,000. But the real difference in fees is actually $520,000 in this case. So half a million dollars right here. You can see that is the real difference because of um, what is called the drag, or we can say it's like the opportunity cost of um, instead of paying for this fee, you're now pocketing way more money because you're paying much lower fees. And that money is now being invested and, you know, going into your own pocket. So this is the real difference in fees. It's not just this minus this, right? Which is, um, I created a column here, the difference in MER, but this is the difference, the drag difference. This is the opportunity cost. Okay, so I separated out the cost for you, but all you have to know is this is the difference in fees, the difference between paying 2% per year versus paying something like 0.3%. Okay, these are substantial numbers um, and they add up to way more. And of course, you know, if you have more money to invest over time, like it's huge. Um, and whoops, that's, that's a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, like it's just, it's just crazy how, um, how much uh, of an impact, you know, a measly 2% can have on your overall wealth. So be wary of this. Um, play around with this spreadsheet and let me know if you have any questions.